Um, the reason for this is that they have not yet undergone clinical trials in those pediatric age groups. So no vaccine will be approved for use in children until we have demonstrated that the vaccine is safe and effective in that age group. And those are the trials that are going on now. Um, now that the adult trials are kind of well underway and continue to be in progress, um, now they have extended the lower age limits uh, down to uh, around 12 years of age uh, for both vaccines. Most vaccines uh, will uh, initially be tested in healthy adult populations. That's the typical approach that's taken. Um, and then after that, we start looking at maybe more vulnerable populations like children or pregnant women. So this approach is um, the usual approach that is, is taken. Uh, obviously in this situation, given the pandemic and the kind of emergency nature, they're quite rapidly including now other um, groups in, in their trials um, so that we can get the vaccine out to as many people as possible to help end the pandemic. In the coming months, uh, we will be hearing about the results from those trials as they enroll and uh, study these vaccines in pediatric age group. We have no real reason to think that the results will be very significantly different than what we have seen in adults, um, but obviously uh, children are a unique population and so that's why we need to ensure that they're studied in the pediatric age group uh, so that we can demonstrate and prove that they are in fact safe and effective in that age group. It is um, very helpful for anyone who becomes eligible for the vaccine uh, to get the vaccine. The reason for that is what we are trying to achieve to uh, slow down and stop the pandemic is this concept of herd immunity. So herd immunity refers to when you have enough of a population that is immune to an infection, that the infection cannot easily jump from one person to the other, and then this slows down transmission. So even if children are not yet eligible for vaccination, if the adults around them are vaccinated, that provides them with some protection because it is less likely in that case that they will then be exposed to the virus. Um, and so until children are approved to get the uh, vaccination, uh, we certainly do encourage any adults who are eligible and who live with children uh, to get the vaccination and that provides them with some level of protection until they can receive it themselves.